just waiting for it to come up here. There we go. Okay. Snowing here in New Brunswick. Well, yeah, it's it snowed here a little bit earlier here in Maine. Uh, this morning it snowed a little bit, but it's not much right now. So, hi everybody. I'm just going to do a quick video here real quick. All right. I'll just give everybody kind of a minute. This is a unscheduled live stream, so um, we will. Uh, just wait for a minute here or two. Hi, everybody. All right. I'm going to switch my screen here. Um, Let's see here if I can do. Share screen. Share screen. Okay, let me do it this way. Um, I guess I'll do this one here. Hi, everybody. For those who are just coming in, um, let me do this one and bring this up. Okay, there we go. I'll wait till it comes up here. Okay, that's not going to work. That's not big enough. <laughs> uh, let me try this again. Um, I'll try that one, I guess. Share, share screen. Um, that one. Okay, now let's try it again. All right, now we'll see if we can. There we go. It's a little bit better. I'm teeny tiny now, but you know, at least you can see it. Okay, um, okay, can everybody hear me okay? You can just write a quick little comment to say we can hear you. Can everybody hear me? Hopefully the audio is working. Okay, good. Sounds good. Okay, just going to get right into it here. Um, looks good. Revelation chapter 13, we'll be getting in verse 11 here. Um, let me bring this up a little bit more. Revelation 13, verse 11. Um, it says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them that dwell them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed okay now of course that's the false prophet if you know anything at all about this but here's the interesting thing here which i'm thinking and he deceived excuse me and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men hmm um, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had this wound by a sword and did live. Um, interesting there. Well, uh, go to verse 15. Um, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. Uh, the image of the beast. And I just have to show this quick. Um, go to Wine Press News here. Um, see if I can find that. Yeah, right here. Uh, 
This is a uh, brother Jacob Thompson's website. Really good website if you don't know about it. Winepressnews.com for all your latest prophetic update type of things, updates on Bible prophecy. And he has a thing here about 21 giant shape-shifting statues to be built around the world. And uh, the giant, it's called. And they can make images appear on this thing. There you have, what, John Lennon or whatever. Um, and, you know, this weird stuff, that, and it shows the videos and things of it where they can actually show this. So, And he gets into the thing there, the exact verses I'm reading right now. But just super creepy, this whole giant thing there um but getting back to our text here so down in, in here uh verses 14 and 15 it talks about that he's setting up this image of the beast well i think those giant statues are probably what we're seeing there um but this right in here i find this very interesting it's talking about the false prophet and it says he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth okay it's a counterfeit of some of the things that have been done throughout the Bible. We're going to look at those references as we continue here. But he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth. But then right here is the only time that this appears in connection with fire coming down from heaven on the earth. In the sight of men. And, you know, I've always just read that. And I've always just thought, well, yeah, the people are standing there. They see it happening. And they say, wow, this is really something. But... We got to talking about this. My wife and I, we were talking about computer generated images. And you say, somebody says, well, I know this is true because I saw it on television. I saw it online. Where did you see that? Well, there's a video on YouTube. I'll send you the link and then you can see it too. What if the false prophet just simply counterfeits the miracle and it only comes out in the sight of men? Because you notice the very next verse. And deceiveth, deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which we had power to do in the sight of the beast. So just an interesting way to look at this whole thing, you know, computer generated images, they could come out with this thing of, you know, oh, it's this weird, you know, fire coming down from heaven and the false prophets doing this. And it's not even happening. It's just computer generated. So it, they're in a green, green screen or whatever else. I mean, we've been seeing this with the thing of uh, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden. There's a lot of things that he'll do news conferences or whatever else. And all of a sudden, a, a mic will pop up or he'll go pass his hand through something. And you think, what was that all about? It's a green screen. They're faking a lot of that stuff. His inauguration, there was a lot of fake stuff with that the inauguration. So I think, again, it's exciting to see prophecy being fulfilled where we're seeing they're actually starting to use um you know, this technology type of stuff to prepare people for what's ultimately going to be used as to make the miracles look legitimate, you know, so just a thought, I don't know, but uh, go through some other scriptures here real quickly, just to show you what I'm talking about, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 9, and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. It doesn't say in the sight of men. Hmm. Interesting. Um, go back to Second Kings. Second Kings chapter one, verse nine through fourteen. Then the king sent unto him a captain of fifty with his fifty, and he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill, and he spake unto him, Thou man of God, the king hath said, Come down. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his 50. Again also he sent unto him another captain of 50 with his 50. And he answered and said unto him, O man of God, thus hath the king said, Come down quickly. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If, a, if I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50. And he sent again a captain of the third 50 with his 50. <laughs> and the third captain of 50 went up and came and fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him and said unto him, O man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these 50, thy servants, be precious in thy sight. Behold, there came 
fire down from heaven and burnt up the two captains of the former fifties with their fifties. Therefore, let now let my life now be precious in thy sight. Did it say anything in the sight of men? No, there's a difference there. Okay. Something to think about there. Kind of an interesting little thing here. Uh, where am I at here? Second Chronicles chapter seven and verse one through four. Now when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord filled the house. And the priest could not enter into the house of the Lord because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. And when all the children of Israel saw how the, they saw it, it doesn't say in the sight of, but saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord uh, upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshiped and praised the Lord saying, for he is good for his mercy endureth forever. And the king and all the people offered sacrifices unto the Lord. What are you doing? Huh? Okay, go get one. Sorry about that. My son's coming in to get uh, a book or two here. Um, shut the door, please. Uh, I want to let the heat out. <laughs> um, but again, you see it there again. It does not say when fire comes down, it does not say in the sight of men. So I think that there's something very unique about the account in Revelation 13, 13. And we'll go to another one here. First Kings. Chapter 18. Verse 37 through 39. Down here. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may now know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. This is Elijah when he's dealing with the priests of Baal. Um, then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood and the stones and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and they said, The Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. Okay. Um, and then one more that we'll look at here, another reference to fire coming down from heaven. Job 1, verse 16. Uh, while he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is fallen from heaven and hath burned up the sheep uh, and the servants and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. So, I don't know. Interesting, just a thought. We were talking about that the other night, and I said maybe there's something to that, that they're just going to use a computer-generated image and there's not you know because how are they going to get the fire to come down from heaven you know and i know that there could be you know um you know there could be different people that uh you know use some kind of weapon or whatever else i don't know i don't know but just a it's an interesting thing that it says there in 13 verse 13 he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. So, I don't know. Just uh, thought I'd bring that out. Um, so, uh, just want to do a quick video on that. And uh, just this, I, I want to just make a little, another little announcement here. Um, I'm probably going to be doing more live streams. Um, uh, on in the future here, I'm, I'm going to look at some of your comments here in, um, in a minute here, but I'm probably going to do more live streams in the future, just real quick ones, because, you know, that way, you know, when I have to do a, an actual video, I take my camera here. You know, let me tell you what, let me stop sharing the screen here so I can get back to the actual thing where I can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, I'm back. Um, you know, uh, I'm probably just going to do, you know, some live streams. I'm not, I don't know, I can't say one a day or anything like that, but it's just a lot quicker for me to get out some sermon or not sermons, but some scriptures like this um, if the Lord show something to me and instead of how am I going to turn this into a sermon and a lot of times it doesn't happen and I've had so many different times that I 
have some really important things I need to get said, but I just, to put it all together into a big, big sermon and whatever else, that's tricky. Um, but, you know, to, to be able to, you know, I have to take my camera, I have to take my voice recorder, take my tripod, set everything up and, and go through all the thing of, you know, editing and, and rendering and all that stuff. So um, would you out there, would you like to see me do more live streams, a couple live streams a week or something like that, just as the Lord shows me something or one of you has a question and I need to answer it and I have to go to the scriptures? You know, it might be easier for me just to do a live stream on that. So what do you think about that idea? Um, you know, should I do more live streams just to cover simple subjects, not, you know, ones that are three hours long or anything either? Okay. Okay. Not going to put all of your comments up on the screen there, but um, yes, please do. Yes, yes, sir. Sounds good. Because, you know, you can always, they record them automatically. They're there on YouTube. Anybody can just watch them. Okay. <laughs> That's removable. Yeah. <laughs> it's very true. Um, so, okay. Um, my, um, just to give a little announcement here, my book, um, uh, that I wrote is supposed to be the proof copy is supposed to be showing up today, maybe tomorrow. Um, and so we'll see. I'm not sure when it's going to be showing up, but I have to go through it, edit it or not edit it, but just proofread it, make sure everything looks good. Um, and uh, then I'll be making an announcement video and it'll be out there for people and stuff. So, okay. Well, Definitely got the answer. No negatives or anything else um, in terms of, of uh, you know, I don't think you should do live streams. We don't want to see you every day or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll be able to order the book. You know, I'll, I'll give out all that information when the time comes. Um, so. And, um, you know, something I'm going to need to do more often um, in terms of, of uh, uh, my live streams and whatever else, if any of you out there are looking to fellowship with brethren um, in terms of in person, you want to meet up with people. I've had a lot of people do that. I've actually had people get married from the comments in the live stream. Um, they meet each other, a guy and a girl, and then they you know, meet up in person and then they actually, you know, go on and get married and everything else, which is great, wonderful. It's very hard to find Bible believing Christians and this is a good place to meet here in this forum. Um, so, uh, you know, um, if you want to just write a comment and whatever else, just say the approximate area where you're from. Don't put your address or anything on here. Please don't do that. But if you just want to say, you know, uh, I'm from, you know, uh, Patton, Maine, or something, where we're at, whatever. Um, I'm from the state of, you know, Tennessee, or I'm, I'm from Belfast, Northern Ireland, or I'm from, you know, wherever, like that. There are people that are coming to this ministry, they're newly saved, and they're saying, do you know anybody in my area here? I get that a lot, actually. Um, so... You know, if you just want to write uh, that, if you're looking to meet with anybody or whatever else, um, have fellowship in person. Uh, it's a wonderful thing. And um, just, you know, see some of you there. Um, so, um, 
Yeah, great. I'm seeing a lot of comments there. Um, yeah, I understand about the mandates in Germany. It's pretty bad over there. Um, so, and you know, be careful. Be careful. I can't, I don't know all of you. You know, some of you have written back and forth with me. Some of you I know. But, you know, be careful. You know, there's weirdos out there and everything else. You know, you have to pray about it. Um, just, you know, Lord, what do you want me to do about this? Uh, so, need a born-again barbarian shirt. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I, I don't have no idea. Um, you know, look at Jacob's comment here. Um, I'm going to release a report later about how Meta Facebook is working on a cybernetic eye for this future junk, the site of man, perhaps. I don't know. That's interesting. I don't, I have no idea. This technology, this high technology stuff is just crazy. Um, some of the weird stuff. So, um, but yeah, you know, anybody that's interested, go to uh, Brother Jacob's website there, uh, winepressnews.com, and um, he puts out a lot of good information, so I recommend that. Um, okay. Des Moines, Iowa. I've been through there, going out to my wife's place in Atlantic, Iowa, out near the Omaha border, the uh, western part of Iowa. So, okay. You know, and, you know, again, let me just say this, you know, as far as could it be a computer grab or generated image or whatever else, what can we do? Should we fight against computer generated images? You know, no, it's prophecy being fulfilled. But the whole point is it's when you see certain things like that and you realize, okay, this is pr pr prophecy being fulfilled. There's nothing I can do about this to stop this, but it's, just one more little sign that's, oh, wow. I shouldn't say sign because, you know, I'm not trying to seek after a sign, but I'm saying it's one more little thing that you can look and say, oh, that could be it. Hey, we could be getting closer to the Lord's return. You know, and one of you brought up the, the thing in one of the, my video about do you really believe Bible prophecy? And you said, you know, well, we don't really know about the calendar and if the thing when Herod could have been, you know, uh, he died in actual BC times or whatever. Well, if that's accurate. Um, and then you have the Julian calendar versus the Gregorian calendar and all that other stuff. We don't have any idea. You know, there's no way I can say that. Yes, definitely. It's going to be 2033. Definitely. You know, it will be because 2000 years from when Jesus died on the cross. We don't know. So, um, but there's definitely, things that we can see that are that are happening in the news on the earth right now that definitely point to you know it's getting very interesting out there so but so um anybody out there that uh you can look at the, the comments and and um Go to that person's channel and, and try to contact them or whatever else. And uh, I don't even know if that's, is that even possible now? With They don't do a private message thing anymore. So I don't really know if it's even possible. Um, so. Um, okay. Well, I'm not going to be on here real long today because I, I have a bunch of other stuff to do, but I just, I wanted to bring that up. Um, and uh, so I'm probably going to start doing a lot more live streams. Just, you know, I know one of you said it's unscripted or whatever. Well, <laughs> my stuff's not scripted anyhow. So, you know. Um, oops. Hold on here. I want to. 
say about this. Thinking, praying about it to make a site where folks can fellowship and set up meetings. Thought we had one before, but not sure what became of it. It was called, uh, I think, Bible Believers Fellowship something or other. It, it, we had the original Bible Believers Fellowship website or house church, but, um, you know, uh, I don't remember what happened to the other one. I don't remember. Um, Uh, question should i join the protests against covid vaccinations in germany organized by civil society i've been there three times and there are some people who are christian yeah i don't have a problem with that be careful you know because a lot of times they'll have sort of counterintelligence people there or agent provocateurs and whatever but go there with the pray before you go and say okay lord do you want me to witness um can you please open a door for me to witness to somebody um yeah i don't see a problem with that So, and, you know, I, I just want to say one other thing um, in terms of different people have said I should do this super chat thing or whatever else where people donate there and, that, you know, then I give them special attention. Oh, thank you for that. I don't like that. I really don't. Um, I believe what the Bible teaches, that giving should be between you and the Lord. And when it comes to me, I say, okay, thank you. If you say, I need to know, did you get it? Um, okay. Yeah, I can let you know. but. It's really just a private thing, who you're giving to and whatever else. And then it can get, it just get carnal and whatever. I really don't want to do the super chat thing. So if I haven't said that before, then I'm saying it now. So. Okay. I'll have to just make a comment here. America's Mystery Babylon. No, it isn't. Mystery Babylon is Roman Catholicism. Um, it's a city. Let me just read the Revelation 17. It's a city. America's not a city. Um, her colors are purple and scarlet. Um, America's colors are red, white, and blue. Um, she's Mystery Babylon is drunk with the blood of the saints and martyrs of Jesus. That's not America. So, um, Um, you know, America, if you want a modern day picture of ancient Rome, which I changed my channel name to Born Again Barbarian because, like I said, that's my ancestral, you know, we're from Germania, Northern Europe going up in there. Um, and, you know, what people say about me and whatever else, you know, is um, more barbarian, and whatever. But uh, the thing of Rome, Imperial Rome. And how they conquer and they're always just fighting and starting wars and provoking people to go into war and take conquering territory and whatever else um modern day uh the modern day vatican crusader type of thing is the american military and they're always sending guys in and killing soldiers that go against them and commanders and whatever you know, study ancient rome it's the exact same thing so um yeah uh, we are, America is the strong arm of the Vatican. Our military has been used to fight the Vatican's wars. Um, that's what it is. And, uh, but that doesn't make us mystery Babylon, right? So yes, America has done some really evil stuff, but that doesn't mean that we are, you know, um, the Vatican or the, uh, mystery Babylon, excuse me. So. So, okay, well, um, I'm going to get going here, and um, that's going to be that. So, just wanted to do a real quick video just to see what everybody uh, thought of that. The thing of Revelation 13, 13, possible computer-generated image. Um, so, okay. We'll see everybody in another video in the future. And um, thank you to everybody out there for your income or your income. Income. Input. <laughs> Sorry. I just literally wrote up the, the notes on this little piece of paper right here like that. Just wrote them up and I thought, okay, I'll do this one quick here. And my brain just kind of rattled from other work I'm doing. So your input.
um, yeah, thank you for your input. I'll be doing some more live streams. So, want to say hi to everybody? Come here, come here, sit up. There's, oh, come on. You're being lazy. You're just laying down there. Here's our dog. He's got his sweater on the day. So, this is Luther. Um, I mentioned in the study, he's he's still a little bit of a puppy. He's got, now you're yawning now, sleeping down there. But, um, yeah, he's, the thing of putting stuff in his mouth, um, I had a sister send me some stuff just to answer you real quickly. Um, he's got really good nutrition. He, he does get bored. We do not let him eat bark. Um, that's his own little thing. We, he sneaks over and he does it. And we have to always constantly tell him, no, don't do that. Put the bark down. And uh, so, and he has, he has chew toys, lots of chew toys that are healthy and everything else. So it's just something we're trying to work on. We're just, you know, so thank you for the information that you sent. We are taking care of the matter. So, <laughs> but this is our little rat terrier here. And uh, even as a puppy, he's already killed three mice outside. So we're really happy about that. You don't want to lick my hand there. So, all right. So that's going to be it for the live stream here. And um, so, all right. Um, we'll see everybody in future videos. Thank you very much for watching.